with this information all right go ask about me big t class of 2014 that was damn near 10 years ago okay 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 stop first of all first of all what i need to know is who let this nigga into the school All right, now today we're checking out a video called Dudes Who Peaked in High School. And let me just say this. I hope to God that nobody that's in my audience is one of these type of motherfuckers. Now let me make this clear though. I'm not saying that there's anything wrong with having fun in high school and being like the little superstar and everything, but don't make your entire life so hell bent on that point in your life. Actually strive to achieve things in your life and move forward because i'm telling you nobody likes the kind of motherfucker who's just always talking about his high school years but with that being said let's get into the rant now play that shit oh man it feels good to come back and visit man these was the days yo who you talking to bro what you mean i'm talking to you oh well that's great i'm happy for you man i used to run these halls right here this was my territory they used to call me big t everybody knew not to play with big t if i'm being real with you bro nobody called you that what am i supposed to do with this information all right go ask about me big t class of 2014 that was damn near 10 years ago okay 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 stop first of all first of all what i need to know is who let this nigga into the school? Because correct me if I'm wrong, but isn't trying to go back to your old high school after you've already graduated as an adult in an attempt to mingle around with all the teenagers literally a felony? I know that's gotta be illegal or something. And I know he can't possibly just be trying to pass off as another student. Like you heard what the dude say, he graduated in 2014. Mind you, it is currently 2023. And given the fact that he's one of these niggas who is reminiscing about his glory days, it's very apparent from that alone. The nigga cannot be looking too good around this time. Like, I know it's only been about 10 years, but this nigga probably done aged about 20 years in the face by now. Like, I don't get what nobody say. If you feel the need to go back to your old high school after nearly a whole decade to quote unquote reminisce on your glory days, you clearly had some rough years, bruh. And he's so stupid too, because if you are sneaking onto the campus, why the hell are you telling the students around you about the fact that you graduated 10 years ago? Matter of fact, why does he even feel the need to flex to a bunch of 16 and 17 year olds? It's just weird. And honestly, at this point, I don't know what's sadder. The fact that he went back to his old high school to relive his glory days, or the fact that this nigga actually thought that after 10 whole years of him being out of high school, that there would still be people there who remember him. Like my nigga by now, at this point, I'm pretty sure all of your old classmates have all moved on with their lives and aren't even thinking about you anymore. And even if you could try to use the angle of, oh, maybe your teachers probably remember you. It's been 10 fucking years, bro. They probably been retired already or transferred to a new school by now. I doubt there's anybody who remembers who you are there. But let's continue. All right, so what you doing now? Yep, used to play on this very court right here. Could have went D1, but I blew my knee up. Yeah, ACL. I was dangerous, though. And, of course, the I could have went D1 bullshit. This is what I always say. No matter how good of an athlete that you are in high school or college, you should always have a backup plan. Because you generally just never know what can happen. And I'm not even necessarily just talking about going to college. Like, contrary to popular belief, you can not go to college and still get a job making decent money. There's plenty of trade jobs you can learn, and there's even office jobs that don't really require that much experience. But it's all about having a plan and knowing how to do more than just one thing. That way you don't end up being like this dried up has been. Seriously, get out of there. You shouldn't even be there. To be honest, it's actually quite shocking that nobody's had the police come and escort you out of there already. Especially given the fact that you're literally just going around telling anybody that'll listen that you're way too old to even be in these halls. I don't know, maybe it's like a hood ass school or something, I don't know. Yo, number 13, you gotta fix that jump shot. You're not getting the full range of motion. Dog, who invited this man in here? I'm just saying, hey, class of 2014, number 23, I led us to the state championship. Go look me up. Go look up a job application. 
Those days are over, bro. You pushing 30. Go start a family. Hey, 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 now. I don't think the guy needs to necessarily go and start a family just because he's nearly 30. But he definitely need to go do something with his life. Because this ain't it. Not only is it pathetic, but it's not healthy either. Living in the past does nothing but hurt you. Like, come on, my nigga. You a grown-ass man. By now, you should have a house and your own car. And like they said, you're nearly 30. You're not quite 30 yet, so I t you, you, you're still kind of young. Go try to still achieve something. It ain't too late for you. Or at the very least, get a girlfriend or a hobby. Because, bro, my nigga, you're going out sad right now. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if this nigga was trying to rizz up some of them high school girls while he was in there type shit, bro. I ain't even gonna hold you. Overall, I think the lesson to be learned here is always have a backup plan, always move forward, and learn to live in the present and not the past. Or don't, and be a loser like this nigga. <laughs> not me, though. <laughs> Y'all be safe, though. <laughs> Big thanks to all of you guys for tuning in to my video. If you rock with my content, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. And leave your boy a like too because it really helps me out with my algorithm. If you want to check out what I'm doing outside of YouTube, my Twitter and my Instagram are all in the description below. Also, if you'd like to make a donation to the channel, it would be greatly appreciated because the money helps me keep making videos like this for you guys. Alright, I'll see you in my next video. Bye.